was that I told the judge to go to hell when he sentenced me to death because he couldn't look me in the face. Why do you think that's a mistake? Because he decided to send me to Huntington Prison, the hardest prison in America at that and time. And what was he going to do before that? I don't know, but he made sure I went to the place that they broke you. See, Huntington was designed as the prison. If you raped another inmate, they sent you there. It was the first shoe program in America. It was the first shoe, really. What is shoe program? A special housing unit or security housing unit or level five supermax, you know, like Pelican Bay. And uh, your punishment was that you weren't allowed to speak in your cell. And if you got caught speaking in your cell, they came in with a nurse and after they beat you down, she jabs you in the ass with Thorazine and they knocked you out for a week and you lost your mind. So it was horrible. Like I told you, the first two years of my sentence, every day I kept my mouth shut. I didn't care what was done around me or not. You weren't allowed to say a goddamn word. And they meant it, man. You're not allowed to talk to other inmates? Nothing. I dare you to sing happy birthday to yourself like I did. I paid for that one. They fucked me up, Joe, but I don't care about that. Look, I realized I was in a race. I had to kill off the person that I was. The person that I initially was upon entering prison was a deceitful lying coward with no fortitude because no self-respect resided within me. And in utter humbleness, I took everything that they did to me and I paid for every window I broke, everything I stole, every lie I told. And then I started to love myself. I figured I ain't getting nothing out of this but misery, so I'm going out like the dude. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to speak beautifully on the day they execute me. I'm going to walk to that walk, man. I'm going to do this. I didn't kill that woman, but I damn sure ain't no coward. I'm going to find out everything I can about life. And then I'm going to face my death. I'm going to do it with Ja de V, man. Like, I had this beautiful, beautiful speech ready for him, too. I was going to lay it out and just be at peace because I realized there was nothing else to do. I could fight. I couldn't argue. It didn't matter because God's in control of my life, and I really believed that I had a choice. Either be a bitter pill and get sucked dry by all the misery around me or get my shit right and start loving myself. So I taught myself how to speak and overcome this uh, aphasia that affected me my whole life. And I found out that I was giving myself neuroplasticity healing and I became very graceful and calm in prison. I was so serene and so powerful. How'd you find out you were giving yourself neuroplasticity healing? I found that out from Robin Sharma. Robin Sharma is the foremost authority on speaking about neuroplasticity healing. And when he found about what I speak about, he said, I am the living embodiment of his teachings. That through grace and dignity, and kindness, I've developed my own charisma that carries me with confidence. And that is the description of what he teaches professionals, billionaires, everyone. To explain neuroplasticity for people who don't Neuroplasticity know. is a reward system within your brain wherein your interactions, especially with other human beings, heals you. So people who suffer from PTSD, people who have had trauma in their lives, can actually heal themselves by being meticulously polite. And I began all of this when I was released. My mother sat me down and she said, Nikki, listen to me. For you to get out of prison and not be a nice man is a waste of everyone's time. Every prayer, every time someone called me the mother of a monster, every time a woman spit in my face, everything that I went through is a waste of time for you not to be a nice man. So I want you to promise me one thing, every day I want you to go out and say, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, and thank you, because I want you to show respect for who you are in that way. They hurt this family badly. It's the only thing I ask. I didn't know that she handed me the tool to healing, because neuroplasticity is the self-contrived act of rewarding yourself for being a nice person.
And my gift over the last 14 years is that I made myself so amazingly pliable and gifted at helping others find the good within them. That's the reason I'm truly here today. The thing that I've been able to accomplish through my writing and through my efforts is to show people that you take things personally in life, you be then a fool. Because what you've done is you've taken all the hurts and you've made them to justify reason why you have to be an asshole to somebody. Whereas you keep forgetting that you've been given a break over and over just to be here, man. Dude, I've been shot, stabbed, strangled, run over by a car, I hung myself in prison, two drug overdoses, and I had a cannibal trying to murder me for two solid years. I know that I could fall at any moment from my own hand. But God bless me. I believe so much in my purpose in life that I won't kill myself. I won't give up. And it's only because I've been tested that I know that it has to be for a reason. 